Hey everyone, welcome to the Solid Tutorials YouTube channel. In today's video, we're diving into a complete step-by-step -step guide for editing with Wondershare Filmora 14. Whether you're a beginner or more advanced, this full course covers everything you need to know from A to Z. We'll go over all the features and tools for professional video editing, and I'll share some advanced tips, tricks, and techniques to help you get the most out of Filmora 14. We've really gone deep in this tutorial, you won't believe how detailed we've gotten. From AI-powered tools to all the other editing features, we'll walk you through everything in a simple, easy-to-follow way. This course is broken down into 20 chapters, so you'll get a comprehensive understanding of the software. Let's jump into Chapter 15 right now. In this chapter, we'll cover all of the topics you see listed on the screen right now, and learn how to edit titles step-by-step, -step, perfect for beginners who want professional results. To apply titles in Filmora 14, I go to the Trending section in the Titles tab. And from here, I drag and drop the title called Slideshow Title 01 onto the timeline. Then to edit it, I double-click on this title, and here in the Basic section I change the text. For example, I write Ocean Love. And then I change its font. I want to use the Typographia font for this, then I adjust the text size. For example, I set it to size 125, then I select the text, and I change its color. You can choose any color from the given options. For example, I selected orange, and the text color changed. If you want to change the color of only some letters in the title, select those letters. Then go to color and change it. Like I chose green, and then only the color of those selected letters changed. And then below that, you can do other text settings like vertical text, bold text, italic text, underline text, or text alignment. Then scroll down, and you can do more settings, like applying text presets. Here you can see that many new text design presets have been added this time in Filmora 14, which apply a beautiful design effect to your text with one click. Select whichever one you like. Then scroll down, and you'll get more text options. Here you can rotate the text with transform. Rotate it as much as you need. Then you can adjust the scale of the text, whether you want to make it smaller or bigger. You can also adjust the position of the text with the position 10 and position Y boxes. But I didn't need transform so I reset the rotation, scale and position back to default. Next, scroll down and turn on the background toggle. This will show the background settings. For example, I've selected color fill as the background type. Then I change the background color. You can also adjust the opacity in the corner radius of the background strip. and you can set how much the background spreads behind the text. But right now, I don't need a background, so I'll leave it off. Then scroll down and turn on the shape toggle. This lets you change the shape behind your text. There are around four different shapes you can choose from. You can also adjust the size and position of the shape using the transform tool. But I don't need any shape for this title, so I'll skip it for now. Next, I turn on the Bezier Path toggle. This creates a smooth Bezier style animation for your text. If you want to make your animation more creative, you can adjust the path offset and set the duration of the animation. But I'll skip the Bezier path too for now. Then scroll down and turn on the outline toggle. 
This lets you customize the text outline. You can change the outline color, adjust the opacity, control the blur level, and increase or decrease the thickness of the outline. But for this one, I'll keep the outline settings as they are. After all these settings, now let's apply animation to the text. Click on the animation section in the text panel. You'll see three types of animations, in, out, and loop. Let's start with the in animations. Click on any animation, and it will be applied right away. Super easy. You can also adjust the duration of the animation by dragging the slider. For example, I choose the enlarge and pop out animation from the in section. Then I click on the out animations tab. From here, we can try some exit animations. I want to apply the leap downwards animation as the out animation. You can also manually enter the duration in the duration box. For example, I set the out animation to 2.5 seconds. I'll also set the in animation to the same, 2.5 seconds to keep them balanced. You can adjust how long the title and its background appear on the timeline depending on what fits your video. Next I click on the loop animations tab. Let me give you a quick overview of some loop animations here. You can apply any loop animation you like. These animations are designed to repeat, and they look very smooth and professional. But for this title, I'm going to remove the loop animation because I've already added in and out animations, and that's all I want for now. After all of this, if you click on the advanced option, you'll get even more control over your title and text editing. This section includes all the same tools we used before, but also adds extra features for faster editing and more detailed design options. Advanced editing lets you fine-tune text elements with better precision, layer different effects, and organize your title layout more efficiently. It gives you more creative control with a clean workspace. It's designed for creators who want precision, speed and flexibility, all in one place. Once you're done with the advanced settings, click on the apply button to save everything. And that's it. Now you've learned the complete method to edit titles and text in Filmora properly and professionally. Stay tuned for more chapters in this complete tutorial series.